What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be doing some dumbbell exercises. So I'm going to be showing you guys some exercises you can do to target your upper chest. So the upper section of your chest can be targeted using mostly incline workouts. So if you have access to a bench, then go ahead and do these workouts with a bench. But if you don't have access to a bench, that's why I made this video right here. So get creative with me and let's have some fun right now, man. So I'm going to show you guys a few different exercises for your upper chest. So you can do these workouts in combination with other workouts. Let's say you wanna work your chest and your shoulders or you want to work your chest and your triceps or you want to work uh, you know doing a push routine then you can insert these workouts to target your upper chest so that's what's gonna happen I'm gonna show you guys some workouts so let's get right to it let's not waste any more time and you know how we do this y'all you want to look for something that you can create an incline with your back with honestly like I said earlier it's better if you have a bench for this to create an incline but if you don't if you have access to a plank you know or something that you can create that you know has an incline then go ahead and use that but I'm just going to be using this little couch behind me as you can see because it's soft and it, I can create an incline with it you know that's that's all it is man you just got to be creative with these things and that's how you do to do a workout for your upper chest but let's get right to it about 95% of the workouts I'll be talking about in this video will require you to be in an incline position so the first thing you want to make sure you do during these workouts is to make sure you have your knees in the position as you see in the video next thing you want to do is make sure that you have your back or your upper back rested properly if you're going to be using a couch or something that doesn't have a flat surface you know that can hold your back but if you have a bench then just just set it to an incline position about 45 degrees and get to work with this the first exercise I'm going to be talking about is incline floor press three to four sets is the advisable amount of sets and about eight to 12 repetitions. So you want to use about 30 to 60 pound dumbbells and do more reps if you have less weights. For the step one of this workout, you want to start by holding the dumbbells out to your sides, rest your upper back on a soft incline surface or a bench and then keep your knees bent and your chest puffed out. At step two, you want to push the dumbbells up until they meet at the center. You want to also squeeze your chest each and every single time at the top of each repetition. Next up, for step three, you want to lower the dumbbells until your elbows cannot go any further. So maintain the same body position throughout this entire routine right here. Some more tips that you guys should note while doing this is that you want to breathe in and push the dumbbells up and then breathe out and then lower the dumbbells back to where you know it started. So take no more than two minutes rest time between exercises if you do decide to do this. Up next is some incline floor fly. Three to four sets is what you want to take, 10 to 12 reps per set. So the weight range for this is 10 to 30 pound and you know just go higher in reps just like the last one if you have lesser weights. For this workout, step one, you want to start by holding the dumbbells wide and out to your sides. You also want to rest your upper back on a soft inclined surface or a bench. Keep your knees bent and your back arched, just like the last exercise. So bring both dumbbells to meet at the top while maintaining a slight bend in your elbows. Squeeze your chest at the top each and every single time. This applies to every single chest workout I'll talk about. That is step two. So for step number three, you want to lower the dumbbells until your chest won't let you go any further. So you pull it all the way back until you can't go any further. Maintain the same body position throughout. Here's a tip you should note. You want to breathe in and bring the dumbbells together after breathing in. And then as you breathe out, you lower the dumbbells back down. You also want to take no more than two minutes rest time between sets for exercises like this one. It doesn't matter if you insert it into another workout routine. Just make sure it's never more than two minutes. Incline hammer floor press. Three to four sets, 10 to 12 repetitions per set. For the weight low for this, use between 20 to 60 pound dumbbells. More reps as always if you have lighter. For step one of this workout, you want to start by holding the dumbbells close together and right above your chest. Note, you also want to keep your knees bent and your chest puffed out. This applies just like the rest of the other workouts we've done. Step number two, you want to push the dumbbells all the way up, maintaining contact between both dumbbells. They gotta stay in contact. Squeeze your chest each time at the top while you do this. Another step, the final step, is to lower the dumbbells until your elbows cannot, and I repeat, cannot go any further. Maintain the same body position throughout, as always. Here's a tip for you guys. So breathing is very important. So breathe in, push the dumbbells up, and then as you lower the dumbbells, you breathe out. 
always take no more than two minutes between exercises and sets when using these exercises. Next up, we've got incline closed floor press, three to four sets, 10 to 12 repetitions per set. For the weight load for this one, you want to make sure that you're using something between 20 to 50 pound dumbbells and always do more if you have less. Step one for this, start by holding the dumbbells close together. So bring them close together, make sure they're touching, use a pronated grip as well, and keep your knees bent and your chest puffed out since this is another incline. This is very similar to the hammer floor press because you have to push the dumbbells up, maintaining contact between both dumbbells throughout. So squeeze your chest as always at the top of each single repetition, every single one, it has to be squeezed. Next up, you want to lower the dumbbells until the dumbbells are almost touching your chest, but not quite touching. So maintain the same body position throughout. You have to maintain uh, your body integrity all the way through. Some other tip you should note, breathe in, push the dumbbells up, breathe out as you lower the dumbbells. I've said this one quite a few times, but that's how important it is. Take no more than two minutes if you're going to be doing this as a standalone workout or if you're going to be mixing it in with other workouts. Finally, our first non-incline workout, kneeling high flies. Three to four sets, 10 to 12 repetitions. You want to do or use about 10 to 30 pound dumbbells for this and you know, do higher reps if you have lesser weights. Start by holding the dumbbells along the sides of your body. Make sure to get in a kneeling position for this exercise as it is the only one that doesn't require you to be in an inclined position. Next up, you want to make sure that you lift both dumbbells together until they come together to meet at the center each and every single time. Only slightly go past your shoulder height each time when you reach the top. So you don't want it going all the way beyond that, just slightly beyond your shoulder height. Step three, lower the dumbbells back to the starting position each time. So squeeze your chest at the top as well. Maintain the same body position, the same body integrity throughout. Another tip, I've mentioned this one multiple times, breathe in, lift the dumbbells up, and then breathe out as you lower the dumbbells. So breathe in, up, and down. So no more than two minutes between workouts for this as well. Okay, so there you guys go right there. There's five different workouts you can do for your upper chest. So you wanna target that, which is very important, especially if you want a wide chest, and you need to you need to hit your upper chest, man. So if you wanna aim for that you know, part of your chest, try adding these workouts to your chest day routines, you know, swap them in, swap them out, because it's always good to always change your routines all the time, and not you know do the same thing all the time, because every individual muscle deserves its own time or its own concentration for it to grow you know, accordingly. So target that upper chest using a bench or no bench, like I just showed you guys right here. If you want me to do a video using a bench, let me know down in the comments section down below. If you have any questions about these workouts or about how to use them, let me know down in the comments section. I hope you guys found this video useful or at least enjoyable. If you did find it useful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new to it and do not forget to hit the gold bell icon right next to the big red subscribe button because that's how you're going to be notified whenever I drop a brand new video. But besides that, if you want to see some more videos like this one right here, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now and I shall catch you guys in my next one. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Midas, and I'm out of here, y'all. <laughs> oh.